Hello, Stephanie, your mama mentor here, back with another product review on an item that I feel like a lot of parents of toddlers need information on, but it is not something that's easy to find information on and to get reviews on. And I am talking about underwear. So I have what you would consider quote unquote, uh, boy underwear and quote unquote girl underwear. And I have a few different brands to go over with you today and my recommendations, my own opinions on them to help you out. So let's get started. I'll start with the boy underwear first, or at least this is considered boy underwear by the companies who make them. You do you. I'm not, I'm not judging or commenting on that. So the first product here is called La Maze. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And these are potty training underwear. So they actually come with extra padding sewn into the inside, you can see. And it's not a super thick layer. This still feels very much, like you can see, it's not super duper thick, but it just adds a little extra, I think maybe two or three layers of cotton in there to catch a little extra moisture while you're potty training. I use these for my little boy. And by the way, they run big. These are 18 month and my little guy just turned three and he still fits in these just fine. So just so you know, they do run a little big in my opinion. My children tend to run on the thinner side. My little boy has a tiny little waist and then like, you know, his up to his shoulders like expands. So if your little one's like that, definitely go on the smaller side of things because they do run a bit big. And they do come in all sorts of different patterns. I just picked one, but I do like these, although they're not like pull-ups where they catch all the, the liquid or like a diaper where it would catch all the liquid and not have an accident like outside their underwear. They are nice because they're literally cotton underwear material. So they feel like underwear to your child but they do definitely absorb a little bit more of that moisture than a regular pair. Now, I, I will get back to a couple other things about those that I like, but I wanted to also mention these little guys. So these are, I believe this, oh no, it really does have a hole there, but I don't think it's intended for actual penis usage <laughs> through that hole because it's really hard to get to it. Like you have to reach way over to get through to the inside. Um, so I think it's more for looks than actual use. But these are the cutest little little boy briefs, wouldn't you agree? This is a size 2-3 and this company is called Lucky and Me and they are organic cotton. Now I am a little bit crazy you guys. <laughs> I do really like to go clean and organic when I can with all my products in my house and things that we use on our bodies or in our bodies. But clothes, you know, honestly, buying 100% organic cotton clothing, like shirts and pants and socks and all of it is on, in my opinion, a little bit extreme only because it's very cost ineffective. You know, your kids go through clothes so quickly, but with underwear, it is a well-known fact that your nether regions do absorb things. Uh, the skin down there is more sensitive. And so they do absorb chemicals and things more easily and more readily than like say your arm or your back or something. So I chose personally to go with organic cotton whenever I could for their underpants. And so the this brand, I love, love, love this brand. And I, I have them for my girl's underwear too, you'll see. But I absolutely love this brand and fully, fully recommend them. Now the only thing that I don't like about having these little boxer briefs for my boy who is not fully potty trained yet is that they do not do a good job at all of catching number twos. So inside, I don't know if I can show you, but see, it's like regular underwear where it like just goes down on either side. It's not flat in the middle. So when there's a poop, they often, you know, drip out the bottom and it's disgusting. But other than that, if they're past the potty training stage and they just need underwear, oh my gosh, you guys, these Lucky and Me little boy briefs are amazing and I absolutely recommend them. Now that's where I get back to these guys, the LeMay's potty training underwear. These sit like your typical girl underwear would and they're flat on the bottom. So when you have that disgusting mess, it holds it quite well in here. It doesn't tend to come out the sides and the bottom as much. 
So for that reason, I like those a lot. <laughs> now, let's get into the girl uh, version of these underwear. So like I said, there is a Lucky and Me version for girls. And I'll just show you. They are Lucky and Me. And these are a size 4 or 5. And these are, again, organic cotton. And they come in an assortment of colors. Here's the back. And they don't have any... Um, like you know how in women's underwear they have like the little white cotton on the inside sewn in these don't have that but they do have a uh, oh yes they do sorry it's just not white <laughs> they do have that extra layer I can put my finger in there you can see so it does have that extra like moisture catching layer I guess is what that's for and then I have two other brands here these are all organic cotton by the way this is called organic kid I can get that flat for you. And this is a four-year-old size, it says. This one has obviously a much more elastic-y type band. This is the back. This is the front. Now, I will say with these, I do like this pair. I do prefer the Lucky and Me. Just the way they fit my daughter seems to fit better. Again, my kids are kind of tall and slender. And so these, the just the way the leg holes are, they really fit her legs well. They don't slide around a lot and they have good coverage over the butt. These do as well, but the leg holes are just a slight bit bigger. I don't know if you can tell that. Let me see if I can, well, it doesn't even look like it like when I put them up to each other actually, but I don't know. It's just something about the fit of the Lucky and Me that I like the best, but these are a very close second. And I do like how they have that nice elastic waistband in case your child is a little, little bit bigger in the waist or a little bit smaller, they will expand and contract that way. Now, this pair is called City Threads. Again, organic cotton. Yay, organic cotton. <laughs> and these are a 4T. What I do love about these is these are made in the USA if you want to support US brands. Um, so City Threads, I would say, are my least favorite. I'm not saying don't get them. They're still a nice pair of underwear, but what I don't like about them is they're kind of more of like a low-rise bikini type, if you're a woman and you know these things, the way that they sit and fit on my child. And then, as you can see, now these are not brand new. My kid's been wearing these for months now. They kind of start bunching up and crumpling funky, and so, like, the crotch is all, you know, like, you gotta, like, stretch it back out. And it just, they start to get all stretched out and weird after several washes, and they don't fit quite right. My daughter's always picking at, at a wedgie when she's wearing these. Again, she's a little skinny mini, so that might be the problem. If she had a little bit more of a butt, and that's probably my fault. Genetics, but yeah, <laughs> they might fit her better. So that that's my personal opinion on these underwear. And I hope that's been helpful for you, useful in some way, and allows you to make a better decision when it comes to what's put on your baby's bottom or not baby, toddler's bottom. If you have any questions, as usual, please comment those below. I'm always happy to respond and I try to do so quickly. If you have any other comments, concerns, anything I didn't cover, anything you wanna share, I love hearing your comments. I, I love to hear that this was helpful or that it helped you make a decision that you were stressing over or you know unsure about. Those kind of messages just make my day, you guys. So as usual, always happy to be here for you. If there is a product you really want to review on, please also let me know. You can email me at yourmamamentor at gmail.com or you can comment below and I would be happy to try and get a review for that product. Mwah! Love you guys and I'll talk to you later.